I am Tommy Wood with Biz West here at our Net Zero Cities event at The Ranch in Loveland, and I'm happy to be joined by Christine Brinker, the Buildings Policy Manager for SWEEP. Christine, mm -hmm. thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Christine, so you were here to talk about the idea of renovating existing buildings mm -hmm. to make them more sustainable and more environmentally friendly. So mm -hmm. can you give us kind of the elevator pitch for why that is so important to do uh, mm -hmm. as we try to reach net zero status? Absolutely. Buildings, uh, by various estimates, are, are about 40% of our state's greenhouse gas emissions. That's both from the electricity use, but an increasing portion of that is from the natural gas that we use for heating and cooling uh, and water heating. So addressing existing buildings is crucial. We are making great progress, great strides on new buildings, new construction, but every new building instantly becomes an existing building the day after it's built. So, so retrofitting very old ones, kind of old ones, even semi-old ones, and then building new buildings the best uh, that we can from the scratch is a, is a more integrated approach. What are some of the challenges, you know, financially and, you know, logistically of renovating and, you know, an existing building? What makes that different and, and more mm -hmm. potentially more difficult compared to constructing uh, a new energy efficient mm -hmm. building? There's, there's two things. Uh, one is uh, finding the time and the effort and the desire to actually do it because we all have a million things going on that goes for our own households as well as if you own a commercial building or a multifamily building. There are so many different things to work on that it takes a while for energy costs, uh, comfort um, emissions to, to come up high enough on the radar. And then once it does, it's knowing where to start because there are so many things that could be done. Knowing where to start is, is key. And so that's why I recommend, of course, starting with an energy audit. So it'll show you what your house or building uh, could benefit from having, uh, from having done and give you a ranked list of of steps you can take to make your building more efficient. And that would usually be um, insulation and air sealing, but increasingly uh, important is upgrading a heating or cooling system or a water heating system to be zero emission through some new technologies that have come down the line. What are some of the ways we can incentivize homeowners and uh, commercial building owners to retrofit their homes or their commercial buildings to make them more sustainable? There are a variety of ways. One is just pointing out the, the long-term impacts and benefits that they would get, both from energy cost reductions, as well as if you're a commercial building owner, increased productivity uh, from your employees, from being in a more comfortable, enjoyable work environment, or from multifamily having uh, a household that is, that is healthier or safer. So those types of benefits that can, that can lead to a bottom line. Um, there are a number of other policies in place that are pushing people towards towards more um, efficiency in existing buildings. One is benchmarking, which is now statewide for larger buildings, 50,000 square feet and up, where uh, all buildings will, first of all, measure and track how much energy they're actually using, which you'd think a lot would be doing already, but it turns out that that's a kind of a gap we have. And then once they have uh, a sense of how their energy is compares to a similar building, then they can take steps to start reduce it. Awesome. This has been Christine Brinker, the Senior Buildings Policy Manager for SWEEP. And Christine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.